Hey guys, welcome to Off Topic. I'm Rachel Bonetta and we have got a big weekend ahead of us. The New York Derby is in town and all of us here at Off Topic are so ready for this showdown and as are the fans. The banter levels are so high right now. So we thought for this episode we'd take a supporter from each team and have them face off in the first ever 2015 Off Topic Fan Chat. <laughs> from the third rail. Why do you think NYCFC is going to win this weekend? State your case. First off, I think the real reason that New York's going to win is because we need it, because we deserve it. The fans have been extremely loyal. You know, we've got about 20,000 people coming to the Bronx every weekend to cheer on a team that's honestly not doing that good right now. But it's not easy for any expansion team in the MLS, especially a league that has developed so much over the years. Um, and I think we're going to have a cup before 20 years. Okay, okay. Well, this is Mark. He's from Viking Army. Why do you think the Red Bulls are going to win this weekend? To keep it short and simple, Rachel, mm -hmm. they're not used to playing soccer in a real stadium. They don't know how to win in a soccer-specific stadium. They're used to baseball stadiums and Cracker Jacks and seeing taking me out to the ball game. So that's really my only case. Okay, did, you, did you hear that? Yeah, did, did he answer the question or was he just stabbing my team? Whoa. Okay, guys, guys, we just started. We just started. Okay. So, as you know, you guys are facing off head-to-head -head in a couple of challenges today. First challenge is trivia. You guys ready? You have your whiteboards there. So I'm going to ask you a question, and you're going to write down your answer. First question, which of these was not invented in New York City? Scrabble, teddy bears, toilet paper, or checkers? Write those answers down. OK, can we reveal your answers? So, teddy bears, okay, and what's yours? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Could you zoom oh. into that, please? Toilet paper. Both of you are incorrect. Oh. Checkers. Checkers, yeah. oh no, second guess, second yeah. guess. Next question. In which borough do the most people live? In which borough do the most people live? Okay, I'm starting to realize that trivia was maybe not a good uh, first challenge for Probably you guys. <laughs> Reveal your answers, please. Manhattan. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Second guess again. Brooklyn, guys. Next question. How many miles of subway track is there in New York City? The person that's closest to the answer wins. How many miles of subway track? Okay. What is your answer? 250 miles. Okay, and you think it's 468. 468. You are the winner. It is actually 842. So you were way off. Are you even from New York? I am. Okay. Oh, gotta fold me. Mark, you gotta you gotta step your game up step for the rest up. of the challenges. Got this. All right. Got this. Next challenge. Okay, are you guys prepared for the second challenge? Yep. Trivia was kind of a bust, but it's okay, we're moving on. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys these two posters. You can take yours and you can take yours. And you guys are gonna write something clever on this and see how many high fives you can get. Oh, awesome. So go create your posters. Go. Reveal your signs. Real creative. All right, go. High fives if you love New York City. High five if you love New York City. High five if you love New York City. High five, you New York City. High five. Why are you wearing a New York hat? Thank you. High five. Yes. Red Bulls, baby. Let's go. Come on, help me out here. There we go. Can I get a high five? Thank you. Can I get a high five, guys? Come on, there you go, there you go, come on, be like a friend. Be like a friend, bro, no? It's okay. Who else loves New York City? Nick, come on, come on. Love New York City, love New York City, love New York City, love New York City, they love New York City. Get a high five for New York City. You love New York City? Get a high five. High five, baby, there we go. You get some high fives, you love New York City, man. Love New York City. No? Can I get a high five, guys? Come on, there you go. The madam, there you go, bro. Can I get a high five? My man, can I get a high five? Yeah, that's a blue hat. High five, bro? 
Here we go. Thank you, my man. You love New York City. You love New York City for life. New York City, man. You love New York City. You love New York City. Officers, can I get a high five? You love New York City? There you go. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Okay, Mark, you won the last challenge by one point, but it's okay, and you can get up top again. Nothing more in New York City than a piece of pizza and a hot dog. So the next challenge is who can eat both the fastest? You can combine them, you can eat them separately, whatever you guys choose to do, you gotta do it faster than the other one. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! All right, there's a different technique over here. He's combined both the hot dog and the piece of pizza. You're just playing with him now. Yeah, one bite left. Gotta swallow it, gotta swallow it. Let's go home here. Ah! <laughs> All right. Andy, you are the winner. Can I get a round of applause? Yes. Okay, Andy, you really know how to throw down a pizza and a hot dog. You won that challenge, but don't worry. There is one more challenge left. And it is worth four points. Are you guys ready? Absolutely. What about you? I can't wait. Bring it on. It has all come down to this. The final challenge worth four points. Whoever wins this wins the whole kerbapel. Are you guys ready? Yeah, you're ready. Okay, here is the challenge. You have to spin around these flags 10 times Take the ball through the pylon. First one to score in the net is the champion. Okay? Go ahead. Such an honor, right? It really is. <laughs> Thanks, Andy, for participating. Make sure you guys are watching NYC FC versus the New York Red Bull, 7 p.m. on Fox Sports 1 on Sunday. Make sure you guys are tweeting at me. Who do you think is going to win? Use the hashtag OTWRB. We'll see you next time.